Okay. Good morning. Good morning. It's pretty chilly out here, super cold, it's freezing. Uh, but today we're gonna be doing the flooring on the tiny house. Um, so we'll do the joists and then we'll put sheeting on it and then we'll flip it over and put the actual decking sheeting that we're gonna put on the top. Um, so that's the plan for today. Let's go like this. So we'll have one here obviously. We'll have to run one here, but it'll be a, a short piece that we'll run because we're going to have blocking from here to here and then we'll run it that way. But the next one will be here, here, There's ice on these two by fours. Yeah, awesome. Was that not like that? <laughs> what the heck? I did it gently. Hand me that board. Did you need another one at 21 and a quarter? Yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. It'll be different on that side. So this one will sit right here. Like that. This will secure into that one. I guess my fingers are cold because these are icy. Probably. Why don't you have gloves on? That's what I'm doing. In the manda. <laughs> Help that these boards are frozen. 167 and a half. What did they do? They're both, it's square, which is great. You said 169 minus inch and a half? 167 and a half is what our board needs to be. We got this done. I'm gonna do another row of blocking uh, right there, um, but we're just kind of working our way down, and we'll work our way all the way down to that side. Okay. Yeah, but we need accuracy, not basic leak. You too, Victor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we got um, the framing done for the floor. We did uh, blocking. So if you look over here, we have the blocking uh, four foot on the center. That's where we were ending, so that's why we ended up the two foot section over there. Um, but if you look over here, we did every four feet. We did blocking. That way we could stagger our sheets of plywood. Um, next, we're gonna glue down uh, the plywood, and this this is actually flipped upside down right now. So we're gonna put the sheeting on the underside, so it's the top. But after we secure this uh, half-inch sheet of plywood on the top, we're gonna flip it over, and that's actually gonna be the bottom. And basically, we just wanted that half-inch sheet down there uh, to keep rodents from coming in. So yeah, that's where we're at. This is what it looks like. And uh, we got it all squared up.
so we gotta raise this uh, up, and then we have to flip it over because this is actually the bottom of the trailer, and then we're gonna have three quarter inch decking on top of this. Are we gonna be able to lift it? Pause the video and write a comment. Tell us if you think we're gonna be able to flip it over ourselves. Well, with the help of these two. So, give us a comment, let us know what you think, and then keep watching. Okay, on three. One. I have two by eights, two by eight. That wall is gonna take the weight from us and then we're gonna slowly slide it out this way. One, two, three. Okay, let your side go a little bit less. It's a chilly 33 degrees outside this morning and uh, we're back at it. I um, got a hat. Oh shoot. I'd, give, your, I'd, give, you, I'd give you mine but... Oh, my shin hurts. What happened to your shin? I bumped it. What do you mean you bumped it? By, by bumped it, do you mean you hit it with a sledgehammer? <laughs> yeah, seeing how it hold up to a 10 pound sledgehammer. And how did it hold up? It held up. Yeah. It just didn't feel the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whoops. There's always those moments where you just wish you were filming, but you miss the, the good stuff. So this morning we're gonna be working on the three quarter inch uh, underlayment. Why are you flaring your nostrils? You're flaring them at me. <laughs> what do you call it? Underlayment? I guess underlayment would be correct. Okay. So we're going to cut the three quarter inch underlayment. Um, we're not going to install it yet. We're going to temporarily install it. We're going to temporarily with install screws. it with screws. But just probably four to a sheet. Um, because we still need to insulate. Uh, inside the flooring but we don't want to do that until we're ready to put up the walls and get it dried in which we can't do inside of here we're gonna have to take it outside it's gonna be a fist bite who you and me yeah and against the tiny house oh. <laughs> <laughs> to get it outside yeah At least we're on the same team. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. Now we're gonna stop stalling and get to work. Come this way. Oh. 
What the boogers? So the 48 is supposed to be centered on the block. Oh shoot, that's what I did wrong. Yeah, it was supposed to be centered. Somebody didn't do it right. I hate to put the blame on somebody, but let's put it on Victor, because he's not here. <laughs> yeah, I did this wrong. I could just add some blocking there. I was just gonna mention that. Just put another set of blocking there. This shop was here when we bought the property, and it's pretty janky. And we have- But we love it. In regards to this being a janky shop, we absolutely love it, because it gets us by, it allows us to do things we wouldn't typically be able to do, um, and we wouldn't be able to afford to build a shop like this right now, so. Right, we are um, incredibly blessed to have this shop. Yeah, so, but it is a janky shop. Well, my, my point, <laughs> My point was that um, there's holes in the in the roof. You can see daylight through it. And um, so we get a lot of drips. I don't know if you can see any holes, but uh, we get a lot of drips. So um, so there's a lot of wet spots, which is another reason why we need to make sure we get the insulation. Um, and after we put in the insulation, just make sure it's covered and dried in as fast as possible so that it doesn't get wet. Is it too rainy out there for you? Is it cold? Where's Zeus? Victor must have nailed that. Oh, Victor. Gosh. When he's not around, he really gets it. <laughs> hey, say something funny. I farted. <laughs> okay, so I'm working on measuring out uh, where we need to cut for these wheel well openings. I tried cutting straight since I was on camera. 
Just just because you're on camera? Yeah. <laughs> Done. Okay. We need to do this one. Do what? The Wilwa. Oh, I forgot about that one. You're supposed to mark that out. <sighs> it's warm in here. <laughs> this is what liquid nail will do to your jacket. It holds on. So, just so you know, like when you're gluing things together. It works really well. It huh? works really well for the jacket too. I should have got it right here because then it would have held the... The holes close. Mm-hmm. Snag that on my car. Next time. Next time I'll put it there. Well, this will make things more interesting. So she didn't draw the line all the way back. <laughs> Go check to see if that one's square over there. Or see if my line's straight. Uh, is that straight? You're supposed to use the square to check it. Oh. <laughs> they're only, they're only the square. I thought you wanted me to eyeball it. Pretty dang square, if you ask me. Close enough for a framer. The floor underlayment is complete. So let's... Until, until we need to remove it. Yeah. Okay, let's take, take a quick look. We'll have to remove it, and then we'll put insulation down. And then we'll re-secure it. Okay, good morning. So we haven't filmed for a few days. Um, when we came out of the shop from working um, the last time, we discovered that Zeus was missing. He's our German Shepherd. Um, and we really don't know what happened to him, but he's gone. And um, so we've been searching and um, posting on Facebook and, and whatnot, but he has not returned. So. Um, while we're still pretty upset and really just don't know what happened to him, um, we're gonna get back to work. And uh, yeah. So today we're gonna work on um, finishing up the flooring. We're gonna put in the insulation and close up the flooring. Yep. Anything you wanna add? Nope. We'll get to work. So the plan is we're gonna drag the trailer a little bit further and then we're gonna lean it up against the dump trailer over there in that pile of wood. Uh, and that's where it's gonna stay until we're done with the, the axles and painting the, the frame. And then we'll put it back on and secure it. So here we go. Uh, it's gonna help us uh, um, 
ba basically give us an attachment point. So we'll hook a chain to this so that we can lift it. Because right now it's it's uh, it's got plywood on the bottom. It's got plywood on the top. So there's plywood everywhere. So. Um, this is where you grab it. Right. So. These should hold. We'll see. <laughs> We're going to hook the chain to that far side, though. one on that other side. with this project we're gonna have to get more gravel for the driveway yeah. I know he's been chewing on the ice you got some ice bench you got some ice you know I want you close 